we will learn how to change numbers from scientific notation to standard form. When multiplying a decimal by a power of 10, move the decimal point to the right if the exponent is positive and to the left if the exponent is negative. In this case, we should move the point twice to the right. After moving the point twice to the right, we get 768.9. Because we moved the point twice to the right, we should not copy 10 to the second power anymore. So 768.9 is the standard form that we were looking for. Let's try another example. 1.6 times 10 to the third power. 3 is a positive number, therefore we should move the point 3 times to the right. Fill in with zeros. After moving the point, we get 1600. The point goes all the way to the end. And you can even erase the point. Do not copy 10 to the third power anymore because we use that when we move the point. 1600 is the standard form. When multiplying a whole number by a power of 10, copy the whole number and then add zeros at the end. How many zeros? In this case, 5 zeros because the exponent was 5. So 900,000 is the standard form. When multiplying by a negative power of 10, remember to move the decimal point to the left. In this example, we will move it twice to the left. Start with a point and then copy 0, 4, 5 and do not write 10 to the negative 2 anymore. Z point zero four five is the same thing with 0 0.045. In this example, we have to move the point 3 times to the left because negative 3 is a negative number. The point goes all the way to the beginning of our sequence. You cannot erase the decimal point if it's in the beginning. However, you can write, rewrite this number in this way. Let's try one last example. 3 times 10 to the negative 1. When moving the decimal point once to the left, we get 0.3 or 0 0.3. These two numbers are equal. Either one of them can be considered the standard form.